Guys, welcome to another amazing special modded playthrough of Crash Team Racing. This is the first ever custom level ever made in the history of Crash Team Racing. Um, this one is a battle level, so it means that it's the one where you're in the arena and you're going against people. So I have my special guest, Sarah, here, my beautiful girlfriend, and we're going to go head to head and see who can destroy the other player. Whoever wins has to buy the other Chipotle or, or make a margarita or something like that. <laughs> okay, if she if she wins, I get her KFC. All right, that's the deal. So let's get into it. I'm of course gonna go polar, you know, base polar gang. Um, and then yeah, start the battle here. I've never played this before, so. But before the battle begins, I have to tell you guys about today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Now, as you guys know, I've only ever had positive experiences with Raid Shadow Legends. And how could I not with the game being free on mobile and PC? But it gets even better than that. There's over 700 unique champions to choose from and loads of different strategies which will help you conquer the endless challenges that the game has to offer. Things like the dungeons, the bosses, or even the PvP arena give you hours and hours of content for you to sink your teeth into. The thing I like the most about the game is the sheer amount of customization amongst all the different champions that you can put together to create an all-star team. And you know you gotta complete the tutorial in order to get access to some of the amazing lore that you can explore through the brand new Raid Call of the Arbiter. It's this awesome new limited series which tells you more about the in-game characters and their back Backgrounds, like the brand new character Artak, the Mighty Warlord. He's gonna be available for free to new and existing players that log into Raid for seven days between now and July 24th. So what are you waiting for? New players, use my link down below or scan the QR code right here to get a free starter pack with free in-game loot and a free champion. Get that tutorial done and thank you Raid Shadow Legends for supporting this video. I'll see you on the battlefield. I might win. We'll see. Um, I am on like a super. Uh, she's on the actually the more broken controller, so she's gonna have to use a L2 and R2 to drift, if that matters at all. Uh... So yeah. So basically, so this is like uh, I guess it's like meant to be like Rainbow Road, like SNES, but um, this is a rainbow road. road. It is a road that, that you. Go. Do, 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 do. Um, so yeah. So. <laughs> I forgot the name of the person who made this mod, but it's by a team of people that I think are decompiling uh, the Crash Team Racing code, which is a really interesting thing. I'm gonna have links to uh, to their channel. It's a it's a channel whose name starts with a D. I'm gonna have links to his channel as well as this uh, the download for this, the patcher for this in the uh, in the description or in the pinned comment. So if you want to download this yourself or follow along with them, I'll have all the links there. But I'm about to shoot the hell out of Sarah right now. I've had enough of this pussy footing around. Yeah, but I don't know how to move well enough yet. You're being mean. Dude, I, I, we both like suck terribly. Okay, hold on. In my defense, I don't know what I'm doing. So would you? Uh, oh dang it! I did, <laughs> I did it on myself. Did, you get for did the TNT on joke myself? There we go. There we go. One. So, All right, I got so one. So I have four. What does that mean? Death. Four hits on me. Dang, she won. Oh. I did? She won that, but she's getting the KFC. <laughs> she got the KFC. I'll get a whole bucket of chicken. God damn it. All right, guys, we are back with part two of the CTR modded video. Literally in the time that I recorded that battle with Sarah to now, a brand new track was just released. So of course, we're gonna do the fucking homie Coco right here. And we're gonna head over to this custom map. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's said in the main menu, but again, I'll have the link to it down below in the description or uh, in the pinned comment. But this is the map right here. Let's have a look. It's called like Tile something, Tile Terror. Yeah, I'm an expert. I do my research. So we're gonna play it. We're gonna play it normal. I'm gonna try not to fall off. There's no walls or anything on this map. And keep in mind, I am no pro. Oh, I just, I just want to not fall here. That's all I want. Is to just not fall over. Okay. Oh, come on! Ah! Oh. Wrong way. Wrong way. I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm about to like literally just go back and just practice that. I should make like a- dude, I forgot I'm on an emulator. I could like make save states if I wanted to. Hold up. Next time I'm at the starting line, I'm gonna make a save state. Check this out. Oh, I'm gonna go around here sneakily. Okay, okay, save state. Here we go, here we go. Cheater mode, activate. Uh, wait, hold on. How do you do it? Settings, view, tools. 
I know how to do it on BizHawk, I just don't know how to do it on Duck Station. If anyone knows how to make a, a save state on Duck Station, let me know in the chat. Okay, here we go. No, I keep missing the jump! I literally keep missing the jump. Dude, we're gonna get this. I will I will get this, this freaking little shortcut if it kills me. Literally in the demo that they show of this level, like, um, in the- from the original creator of this, he, uh, he, like, shows such a crazy IL of it. He, like, gets that shortcut and then, like, bunny hops, or what is it, like, froggies over- They're called, like, froggies or something? I don't know. He, like, bunny hops over, like, the- the gaps and stuff. It's so crazy. I want to see if I can get something that even remotely resembles that. What is Crash doing there? What is this? Oh, are these, like, my, uh, my ghosts? Oh! Oh! Oh, I almost had that. Yeah, I guess these are my ghosts. It, there are ghosts in the original Crash Team Racing, right? Can anyone confirm? This isn't like a newly modded feature or anything. Right? Oh, shit. Well, I'm gonna get it. I'm, I swear to God, I'm gonna get it. D yes, okay. Now, the key is to maintain the uh, super hot fire into the, um, into the jump. So, in case you were wondering, to my casual youtube -y friends, the blue, the blue things signify the uh, the blue fucking charge pads signify. God damn it! I can't focus and play this. <laughs> I can do it with Spyro, but I can't do it with this game. The blue pads signify a uh, super hot fire or whatever it's called, super flames, super hot balls. Whereas the normal charge pads are just normal charge pads. So the super hot fire charge pads, those are the ones that you can really maintain the the momentum, aka the reserves from. So those of you who just casually play this game, uh, you should know that there's extra, like, boost, like, measured in reserves. It's like, it's, it's kind of confusing, but basically, like, you have boost, and then you have more boost than what you can see on screen. If you, if you like, stack the boost enough, you have, like, extra reserve boost. So that's called reserves in this game, and the, the blue extra hot fire gives you, like, max reserves, basically. So if you're good at this game, then you can, like, use, like, the froggy here. And like jump over the edge and shit like that and like maintain the maintain the reserves, aka the boost speed. Obviously, I fucking suck at this. <laughs> What's up, Hypno? Dude, Hypno, I, I took the I took your camera, dude. I got the Hypno camera. I got the, how did that How was that out of bounds? Oh my god, this is some Papu Papu shit. They really made it feel like the original game. What's my favorite beer? I've been drinking a lot of Lagunitas lately, because you can buy them in like a 20 pack for like 21 bucks. So it's like, you know, one point something, 1.1 or two dollars. Just over a dollar per 12 ounce can. And they're pretty good tasting IPAs by my estimation. I wouldn't call them my favorite beer or anything. My favorite kind of beer is just like a really smooth Citra IPA. Um, that's usually like, It'll vary based on where I'm at, right? So, and this is how much of a fucking beer snob I am. Remember, I'm from Southern California. And my mom raised me with a kegerator. So just remember this context, by the way. But yeah, my favorite types of beers to, to get... are right, hold on. Oh my goodness! I'm a legend! I'm so sick. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm too fucking base. Oh, what the fuck? Um... Yeah, that was- that was goaded. That was a proper- I, uh, 11 second lap too. I don't know if I'm gonna beat that. It's- uh, Should I go for the sub 10? I might go for the sub 10. Yeah, that was gaming as fuck. With the fucking no reserves bunny hopping there. Dude, you can't like jump too far, the fucking checkpoint marker. But yeah, my- to answer the question, my favorite kind of beer is, um... Is an IPA on draft at a restaurant that's locally brewed and is like a citra IPA, basically. That nice fruity, like citrusy note, smooth IPA. Preferably like a local brew, because those tend to be like fresher tasting in my experience. And yes, I am that much of a snob. <laughs> I will fully acknowledge the pretentious like IPA bro energy of that statement. I, I, I'm self-aware. But yeah, that's, that's my ideal beer. I'll pay like 10 bucks for a beer like that. I don't give a fuck. Just for a pint glass of like the, of like a perfect IPA. Makes me happy. Oh my god. I still made that. Hold on, watch this. 
Still gonna make it. Reserve was. Oh my god, I'm based. You don't even need reserves. Check this out. Hit the U-turn. Do a couple of these. Dude, I'm sick. Oh, I'm gonna go for the sub-10. I'm going for sub-10. Oh, I- Oh! Oh, that was- Oh, 10.8 is the PB. Damn, I'm killing it. Dude, in the fucking showcase video they have for this, which I'll have linked down below on this YouTube video, um, they, he gets like a fucking eight second time with Penta Penguin. So crazy. He's just like, oh yeah, you know, we'll see how good people can take. It's fucking eight seconds, like, dude shaved off like two and a half seconds on me. Well, guys, I think that's gonna do it for my uh, for my CTR grind here. I might I might keep playing this level a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and just end this YouTube video here. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to see the rest of my little playthrough today that I'm doing here on Twitch, make sure to follow the VODs channel down below. I post my unedited VODs in their full entirety, their full unedited glory on that channel every day that I stream. And uh, but yeah, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed some of these Crash Bandicoot mods, Crash Team Racing, a new era in modding and community-driven progress. I'm about to go meet Hypnoshark at ESA and learn how to beat this game like no one else ever has. So I would say CTR is in quite a faux golden age, you might say. So if you're about it, if you like that, then like this video down below. Leave a comment uh, about your favorite uh, CTR character and why it's Penta Penguin. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. My name's Dale, man. Cheers. Well, hey guys, this was just like a quick little 4A into, into speedrun crash team racing modding here. So if you like this, please feel free to download it down below. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on, on, uh, on the guy's channel, which I think you guys should as well, because hopefully there's going to be more levels like this we can mess with in the future, even full on tracks or anything like that. And side note, let's get some of this going for Spyro. If you want to see custom levels in Spyro, let me know in the comments down below. Type a letter S in the comments for, for Spyro, for Sarah winning, and for Spyro <laughs> custom levels and sex butt. But, you know, until next time, this is just a fun little silly video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. That was a bad kiss. You gotta try again. Baby! <laughs> Baby!